verse 15 and Psalm number 84 Psalm 4 Psalm 84 verse 4 5 6 and 7 This thou knowest that all they which are in Asia be turned away from me of whom are Philgaeus and Homogenes. That's good. Um, you, 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 you really don't want to mess yourself with those names because as much as you might want to pr pronounce it right in the English language, you still pronounce it right and get it wrong because it was written in Greek. And these are Greek names. All right. Praise God. All right. NIV. You know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me. Amen. Psalm 84 verse 4 Blessed are those who dwell in your house They are ever praising you NIV Can we read it together? One, two, three Blessed are those who dwell in your house They are ever praising you Alright Blessed are those Whose strength is in you whose heart are set on pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Baca they make it a place of springs the autumn rains also cover it with pools verse 7 they go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion all right they go from strength to strength they go from strength to strength hallelujah spirit of the living god i thank you for your word i pray that you speak to every soul under the sound of my voice i thank you that you're going to cause everyone here to be impacted greatly by your word we are here because of you we are here to learn from you we are here to soak in your word yes lord speak to us in a way that we can understand in jesus precious name amen <clears throat> please sit on the neck of your enemies praise the lord all right by the grace of god uh, i said i'm going to try to talk and not scream and shout uh, i'll shout tonight in fact, Bishop Asari is going to be with us tonight. Oh, only one person is excited. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let him know. I'll let him know uh, only one person was excited. Praise God. Uh, Bishop, if you're watching, only one person was excited. We'll, we'll, we'll try it again, Bishop. One more try. Soon. All right. So by the grace of God, I, I am concluding my three-part, uh, as many of you can tell, uh, three-part message today. Uh, it, is, uh, it is, in fact, a three-part message that I named each one differently. Hallelujah. Yeah. But, uh, and so this morning, the Lord is going to speak to us on success in Baca success in Baca praise God so the psalmist uh, here has a good conversation in fact he he a good conversation with the Lord he says Lord he says blessed uh, are those whose strength is in you in verse 4 he he says blessed are those who dwell in your house which i explained uh the last time in fact i believe we used the amplified version uh quite a lot last week he says blessed happy fortunate uh to be envied 
are those who dwell in your house and your presence it means that if you stay in the house of god if you stay in his presence long enough you will be envied it's simple right you will be envied in other words the lord will bless you so much so that men may not understand how you got so blessed the lord can heal you so much so that men may not understand how you received your healing are you with me uh, by the special grace of god we have uh, seen and heard of great miracles uh, even in this place online and so on and so forth i believe it was sometime last year or two there was a woman here who's now a member of the church uh, i don't think she's here this morning uh, she came here with cancer and uh i'm not sure if at the time i knew or not but we prayed over water i was in prayer and i just grabbed water i said bring me some water in fact the musicians had convinced me to purchase some kind of water um, because it tasted good and it had some electrolytes in there um, and they were making so much noise about it and so i also decided to go purchase it because that was the order of the day and they were pushing me so i went got it and i didn't like it i really didn't like it and they're like prof you sure i don't like it it doesn't taste right to me it is all right now it's good water expensive water can i just can you just give me ozaka or something praise god you know ozaka water tastes good that's spring water so uh, in the in the course of ministration i said to them listen go to the office bring me uh that box of water so they brought one and uh we prayed over i gave it to the woman uh and uh, i think i must have told her drink some and pour the rest on your you know shower with the rest or something of that nature however the d-day for her surgery came they went cut her went into her and mysteriously they could not find this thing, cancerous thing that was in her. It, it had disappeared. It had disappeared. Mysteriously. Mysteriously disappeared. Are you with me? Uh, there is a woman who's probably uh, online right now. I believe she's an e-member now. Uh, she, she had breast cancer. I did not know. And uh, by the special grace of God, she said, I was ministering once. She said, Prof, you were ministering once. And then you said, the Lord is healing someone. Of some, the Lord is, 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 is healing someone in, I think, right or left part of your uh, breast or whatever. She said, and uh, she said she believed it was her. And that was where, in fact, the cancerous cells were. By the special grace of God. As I speak to you today, she's healed, she's set free. She's a member, an e-member of the church. Hallelujah. You are not celebrating. You are not celebrating the Lord. Just put your hands together for Jesus. I believe it will be good enough. Hallelujah. But you see, so the Bible says, those who, who spend time in his presence, it does not make sense to stay in his house it doesn't make sense to spend so much time in his presence at all to the carnal mind but he says if you spend time in his presence long enough you'll be happy you'll be f you many will call you fortunate you ever met someone you're like yeah you're just fortunate you're right you're just fortunate the, the truth is that spending time in the presence of God when you spend time in the presence of God long enough you acquire some kind of fragrance on you that attracts only good things there's someone with me it attracts good things along with long suffering I know y'all yeah I, I know you didn't want to you are not going to shout on that one yes 
are you with me yeah when when, when jesus was, when when scripture was talking about the fruit of the spirit you know it started so good and so good and so good but getting close to the end he says long suffering and then jesus was asked a question remember once peter and uh, 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 peter and co were walking behind jesus and uh, they were all walking you know and then they started murmuring and murmuring and then Jesus turned around and said to them, Hey, what are you murmuring about? And then Peter, you knew it was Peter. Peter had to speak. Peter was like, um, We've left our houses, we've left our jobs, we've left everything to follow you. What do we get for following you, Jesus? And then Jesus he says, We left our families and all. So Jesus began to list the things that. They would get he says whoever has left your house your father your mother your this and that he says a hundredfold would you receive here on earth they were excited and in the kingdom my god and they were excited and then he said dappled with long i mean persecutions are you with me so yes the blessings will come but the persecutions will come so he says blessed happy fortunate and to be envied are those who dwell in your house to be envied are those who dwell in your house and your presence there are two things here your house and your presence hallelujah oh you're too quiet let me save you some money preach with me say your house and your presence say i desire lord your presence say help me desire your house as well yeah it's so easy to desire his presence and and you know act like we good with god i'm about to come on your lane right now i'm about to come on your lane right now don't like me if you i mean you here now i might as well speak to you so it's so easy it's so easy it is so easy come here charles it's so easy it's so easy i said it's easy isn't it easy come on come on come on come on come on come on it's so easy i remember charles charles oh charles you know i was thinking about you the other day you know i remember you now i do for real but i'm not gonna you're a big man now so i remember charles charles would always run to me Praise God. So I want you, you know, this caught my eye. This caught my eye. This caught my eye. But you see, you're strong enough. So what, what are some of the things you do when you get in this presence? You get on your knees, right? So it's just you and in your prayer closet. Would you kindly get on your knees? Just, yeah, just, just lift your hands and you just worshiping him, worshiping him, right? That's, you know, you're doing that in his presence and it feels good, right? It's just you and him and he talks back to you and it's just you and him and you talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk to him. You talk to him. Come on, say something to the Lord. You're so worthy, Father God. I lift your name and I praise you above every other name, above every sickness. I praise your name, Father God. And I lift you. I exalt you, Father God. Don't that, don't that even sound so good? It's just you and God. It's just you and God in his presence. He's, that's easy. In his presence. In his presence. Now let's get up and come home. Let's uh, come to church. Let's come to church. Now we in church. You see, in his presence, his presence, you know, they, let's work with me now. Some of you, oh, let me get... If you were in Africa, I would say, let me land. All right. So here, so that's his presence. That's a presence. That is, that is your, your, your vertical relationship with him. It's so good. It's just you and him. That's so easy. Just you and God. I'm telling you, it is one of, it's too easy. If you miss it, I don't really know how we can help you. Just you and God. Go talk to, I don't care if you go slap somebody. Come on back and just you and God. You and God. You can kick them and it's you and God. I don't care. I could care less about this one and that one. Because I got me and God. Vertical relationship, me and God. But that's not enough lift your hands even standing even standing yeah. his hands are still up like that 
that's vertical relationship him and God yes yeah yeah so he thinks he all that he's righteous he's holy we all do sometimes yeah but he said it's not enough we need another thing we need his house all right he says blessed happy fortunate to be envied are those who dwell in his house and his presence we need his house but there's a problem in the house when I come to his house sometimes I may encounter some folk who don't like me and truth be told you may not like them neither you may encounter some folk who talk about you and truth be told you gossip about them too you know so he's good like this presence but the problem comes in when uh, he's got to deal with this one here in the house of God and deal with that one here in the house of God are you with me so the problem comes in when he's got to deal with this one and deal with that one but you see uh, until we embrace dealing with him and her even though we may not like him and her in his house and deal with him and her even though we may not like him and her in his house we may not be able to fully carry our cross because you see this is his vertical relationship it's just him and God but once the brother and sister and sister in Christ come on in and once he begins to deal with them it becomes his cross so it's tough now close your I'm going to so it's tough but that's his cross God I don't have a problem just worshiping you and staying in your presence i can do it all by myself this morning at six at 5 a.m on the prayer network oh whoever was on must have um must have been like prof why did i call in today because instead of one hour i kept them on praying till about um one hour to about 6 30 or something we're just praying i said worship him worship him <laughs> <laughs> so that, and the presence felt so good I didn't want to leave but in his presence I'm good I have this great relationship with God but the problem comes in God when I've got to deal with people in your house when I've got to deal with people at work when I've got to deal with people in the presence of God but he says that's your cross carry it Lord is tough we complain sometimes we cry sometimes but he says that's your cross but Lord I feel used yeah you, you prayed and you told me to use you that's why you feel used Lord I'm hurting he says that's your cross so you see it's very easy he says bless are those thank you bless happy fortunate to be envied are those who dwell in your house and every now and then we all need to be reminded of these things hallelujah yeah we need to be reminded it's tough but we got to deal with people stop pretending like you you like you 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 think all week about the person sitting next to you in church i mean i'm i'm sorry maybe you do but only God knows what you really think about them. I'll bust your head or something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, so dealing with taking one and neglecting or ignoring the other makes it a stick. You see that? A year stick vertical stick or a year stick a horizontal stick it's not a cross so someone may say lord i've been fasting i've been praying i've been shabbat shabbat by myself for a very long time lord nothing is happening nothing is happening nothing is happening 
The Lord is saying, it's a stick. You haven't started, you haven't picked a stick. It's a stick, it's a stick. Hallelujah. It's a stick. He says, until you dwell in my house, until you dwell in my house and my presence, you may not be envied in a good way. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You may not be referred to as fortunate. You may not be referred to as happy. So here he goes. He says, "Bless, uh, bless, happy, fortunate to be envied are those who dwell in your house in your presence." He says, "They will be singing your praises all day long. They will be singing your praises." What does the King James? Uh, now he says, "Seller." Right? What does the NIV say? They are ever praising you. They are ever praising you. Not they will be. They are ever praising you. It, and I said the other day that when you stay in his house, he gives you consistent reason to praise him. When you stay in his presence and his house, things may not always go the way you want it to go, but he gives us consistent reasons to praise. I don't know about you, but I cannot afford to be away from the house and the presence of God. I'm dangerous. I'm like a time bomb. You don't want me around you. Are you with me? You, uh, uh, my, my family is here. They're not going to lie to you. I mean, my sister, they're not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm too dangerous without his presence. So please, whatever you do, tell someone, keep me in his presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep me in his presence. Uh, keep, I don't know about you, but I read my word and it said, in this flesh dwelleth no good thing. There are some who might get so um, upset. Well, I'm in your lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know. Ooh, Lord, keep me in your presence. Keep me. So you see, when King David, King David, when he said, I was glad when they said, listen, I was excited. It was Sunday morning. I went to sleep late and woke up early. Are you with me? I don't know about you, but I'm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. King David said, I was ex- I'm, I'm being too vulnerable. I'm being too vulnerable. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want, you don't want, you don't want to be. You see, when I often say that being away out of the presence of God, away from the presence of God and his house is like fish out of water. And that's what happens. That's what happens when we leave his presence. And if, if you've never tasted his presence, you may not understand. If you've never given yourself wholly to serving the Lord and serving his house, you may not understand. You are missing nothing, right? You might think I'm not missing anything. But if you've been in the waters and you've been taken out, are you with me? A moment out of his presence. I mean, things, your whole world, you might have money, you might have all that you need, but things just don't feel, seem to feel right. Is someone with me? Yeah, yeah. Lord, I can't do this thing without you. No wonder King David, after he got what he got, listen, listen to me. He went to his rooftop. He saw Bathsheba. He fell for Bathsheba. Got Bathsheba. Wanted to get rid of the husband. He did. And got married to Bathsheba. That's what he wanted. But yet, he prayed a prayer. When they started coming after him. He didn't say, Lord, please give me this woman back. Oh, Lord, please don't let me lose this woman. He said, cast me not away from thy presence, oh, Lord. Take not thy spirit away from me. Are you with me? In other words, you can and take that woman you can take everything when his child died King David didn't say Lord please give me another child uh, he said Lord take not your spirit away from me take, cast me not away from your presence you, are. you see so he realizes that without the presence listen guys seriously that everything we need is in his presence I can't, I can't, everything we need is in his presence. Everything we need. We're just in, uh, was it two weeks ago or so in Alabama? You were there. You were there. Um, by the grace of God, the Lord touched people. And the only few testimonies that we took were people who had 
verifiable you know uh, um, evidence for instance if your headache you had a headache or back or whatever and people testified there was a woman who came in the service she said she had some kind of strange disease and that she couldn't she would get i think nervous or something and couldn't she would always be shaking or something in the service and by the grace of god we just prayed and she was healed right there and there immediately that's what the presence can do there is another woman uh, uh, her brother was not in the service but she heard a testimony that I shared of something that happened in Illinois last year I was in a service in Illinois last year while we were ministering I mean getting close to the end I felt led to pray for the sick and I said anyone online if you're online get a phone close to you or hold the, 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 the phone and let us pray as we were praying uh, God was working things I did not know what the Lord was doing. All I knew is that we are just praying. Are you with me? It was it wasn't until after the service that the pastor came to me and said, "Man of God, uh, you need to hear this testimony." Came with a young lady and said, "This young lady lost a family member." Listen now. This fam this young lady lost a family member while service was going on and the uh ER folk, EMTs got there and confirmed the family member dead but then when she when you were praying and you said that, you know if you are at home or whatever touch your screen or whatever she called them and said don't let the EMT take the cops away before they leave let put the phone on speaker and let, let let him join the prayer we prayed and the pastor said immediately we said amen the man coughed aha, and came back alive who on earth can take credit for this tell me where you can buy this tell me how much money can buy this thing are you with me can 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 i take credit for this do i even know them his presence so I shared this testimony there and then a lady who was in the service also called her home <laughs> the testimony is on Facebook you can watch it called her home and then she said her brother I believe who really wasn't you know he didn't follow all these you know all these tongue speaking people like little loud I don't like but the previous year he had heard me and he fell in love with my spirit so he started following me and then he said the lady said the brother I'm the only person that the brother listens to something of that nature who is you know in the tongue speaking group <laughs> so whatever that means so she said when she heard that prayer that testimony she called and said hey bro listen call the family and say get the phone close to my brother let him know his friend is here his friend is preaching now according to her her brother had some issue with the back couldn't bend straight so her his spine had was bent or something of that nature she shares it all in the testimony hallelujah it was bent and so he couldn't he could barely make any good movement but she said after we prayed in that service and we said amen they called her back and she, they said your brother can now bend can a human being take credit for this you see there are things that his presence will do in your life that money cannot do for you are you with me so we've missed it we've missed it i said we've missed it for too long a time when we chase after things and we chase after after people we chase after the wrong things but he's saying if you would just dwell in my presence if you would just dwell in my house house there is not a thing that you desire that you will not receive are you with me don't come to me because you need something come to me because of me my presence don't come to me seeking my hand because that's where the candy at come to me seeking my heart because you want to know me i know you understand you, you understand it no you don't let me talk to the ladies you understand better you understand better how you feel when they come into your life and they just 
lie to you and, and act like they really want your heart, but it's really something you got either in your hands or into your legs. Or keep going. I just got to the legs. But they just want something. They want to use you for something. Like you just a door for them. Because you know something. You, yeah, 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 yeah. How you feel, ladies, when, when they come? And you're like, I thought you, I thought you meant what you said. I thought you meant what you said. If we feel this way. Oh, guys. Oh, the men are lonely. Okay, let's talk to them. The, the men are lonely. Should, should I talk to the men? The men are not loud enough. I don't think they're ready. Really? Ladies, should I speak to the men? No? Ladies, are, are you sure they, they need? They do? Okay. All right. I really want to call some names. I, I really do. I'm, I'm so tempted right now. I don't know if I should call the name by the spirit or by the flesh. But hear me, man, guys, like for real, how you feel, single guys? You know, when you really think, you really think that after all you've been through, all the broken hearts that you've been through, you finally found one. Like, this is the one. Only to find out that not only was she a queen, but she had a first name called Slate. You didn't brought a slave queen into your life. You remember a slave queen into your life who told you all the sweet things you want to hear? Oh, I like that. Someone said, mm hmm. Yeah? Took all, <laughs> gave you the best of the best. And made you think this is it. Turn you into Michael Jackson or some trying to have a this is it conference. <laughs> Only to find out that not only are you not. <laughs> Only to find out that you're not even a part of the list. You, you're not even a part of the list. You are just you are you are a financial uh, you are a financial check. So you see, they came to your life seeking, pretending to seek your heart. I want this thing for real. Ooh, I want it for real. So the first few uh, months, when, when, they, when you felt that, what, what is it? Is it filial? Eros. Eros? Yeah. Or is the other one? Eros. Eros. Mm. Or the Songs of Solomon one. <laughs> yeah. When he felt that. You know, songs, so he wrote that Songs of Solomon to his first wife. His first, at the time he wrote Solomon wrote songs of Solomon, he had one wife. It's a miracle, isn't it? One wife. So he wrote all of that to him, to her. Yeah. And then after that, he had 699 others. <laughs> what a mystery. And you realize for the 699, he wrote a book, <laughs> he wrote Proverbs. Vanity upon vanity. So you see, that's what happens when we seek. <laughs> that's what happens when we seek the hand of Christ. If you feel that way, you feel used. You feel like you lied to me. 
how much more Christ. In fact, he even knows. He knows what's in our heart. But he just trusts our words. Like, Lord, I love you, Lord. I, Lord, I, Lord, I, Lord, I, Lord, I promise I'll always be in church. Lord, I promise if you give me this job, Lord, it's you and I. I'll join the choir and I'll sing with this voice. Lord Shekinah. Jehovah Shekinah. Jehovah Shekinah. And then finally, the Lord says, okay, do it. And, and you know, it, maybe we need to do a, 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 a sketch or something of, you know, people praying and the angels talking about the prayers of the people. If I was an angel, I'd say, Lord, is it not the same one who was in your presence the other day? Remember, when you give them a job, they run away. They, didn't, they stop. They think, Lord, keep them there for some time. Lord, do you enjoy their worship? Lord, keep them right there. Keep them there. Keep them there. Let them worship. Lord, do you enjoy when they're on their knees? Lord, give them knee, knee, some break the leg. <laughs> Come on, put your hands together for Bishop or Henny Asari. Come on, you are not celebrating the Lord. I said, put your hands together for the bishop. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Please see that. My goodness. Where were we? <laughs> right. So. Break it, break it, yeah. I said, Lord, you know, Lord, you can do all things. You can do all. I, I, I may even sing to him as an angel. You can do all things but fail. But you never lost the battle. So I said, Lord, break, break their legs so they can stay down there and worship you more. And when you are ready, when we are ready to answer, we can heal them and give them their answer. Is he? I'll be, yeah, I'll probably be one of the angels with the swords. The ones on the horses. The one who go on special missions. Yeah. Because, you see, truth be told, we, we, we act like we want the heart of God. The heart of Christ. And in a book that we've been reading, The Final Quest, he says, remember, for those of you who remember, he says, many people want to know my mind. But the key, the secret to my mind is my heart. Hallelujah. The mind of God, the mind of Christ is where word of wisdom, word of knowledge is the future. But the heart of Christ is the nature of Christ. That is where we all ought to, that is what we all ought to want to have. I don't know about you, but I desire it. It's tough sometimes. The presence is easy. It's easy, the presence is so easy. But the other one, the dealing with folk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The dealing with folk. So he says, blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied are those who dwell in your house and your presence. They will be singing your praises all day long. All the day long. Say, so think on this. Think on this. Then he says, blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the man whose strength is in you. We already talked about that. Right? Whose strength is in you? By the arm of flesh shall no man prevail. Whose strength in you? In whose heart are the highways to Zion? It means I can hold your hand and go into prayer and worship with you. And we are guaranteed not to hit any obstacles on the highway. Because it's in your heart. Hallelujah. My, my, uh, my Monday family understand it. Don't we understand it? Monday family. Yeah, when we gather together in prayer, like no mics, none of that. We just hear and we crying out. And it doesn't take too much to get into his presence. His presence just hits. Are you with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We just go right in. Yeah, we just go right in. Let's read it. Verse, the next verse. Yeah, whose heart, uh, whose heart are the highways to Zion? Next verse. I love it. Passing through the valley of Baca, King James. 
passing through the valley and it says who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well the rain also filleth the pools what is Baca what is Baca and by the grace of God remember in the first two verses it says that we are on a pilgrimage so on this pilgrimage go to NIV verse 4 and 5 on this pilgrimage by the special grace of God there are certain things we will encounter and for those of you who remember the word sky and journey you know what I'm talking about right I said that if you are driving from Arizona to, um, say, Michigan, you may be doing good until you hit some road bumps. And then you might encounter some storms on the way. But all of it should not stop you. It may slow you down, but it should not stop you. It may slow you down. King David said in Psalm 23, Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? He didn't say, I'm going to stop. Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall fear no evil. Why? Because, Lord, my strength is in you. You are my strength. You are my hope. I believe in you. I'm not relying on my strength. If I did, I would have failed. I can take down this giant, David says. Why? Because I, I, my God was with me when I was by myself in the wilderness. And I was able to take down the lion and the bear with my bare hands. I ain't had no weapon. Something came upon me. I know how it feels. I cannot describe it. But I guarantee that once that thing comes upon me, I can take this giant down i don't know how it's going to come but i know he's going to come so sir let me just go all i need is some stones is someone with me so he says though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i know that what came upon me when i was a child in the wilderness that i was able to kill this lion and the bear will come upon me if need be is someone with me so either way i'm a winner with his presence i'm a winner in him i'm a winner as is someone with me he said thy rod and thy staff they comfort me in other words if strength fails your rod and your star and i explained the other day to a group of people that the rod represents his word the staff represents the spirit of God is someone with me if I the staff represents the spirit or the rod represents the word is someone with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me Jesus said to the disciples and I will pray to the father that he will send you a comforter uh, who will be with you at all times so King David with that understanding said listen even if my strength fails I've got the word and I've got the spirit with me I shall overcome I stood here and I taught the other day and I said that two things that you need for any problem in this world that we need is the word of God and the spirit of God the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was without form and void confusion all over the place but the spirit of God who had on the face of the waters he was waiting he was there and he was waiting for a partner and the Bible said God said Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. so God shut his word out and when he said the spirit said I'm ready so when the word and the spirit came together that darkness that covered the face of the deep for many years decided to disappear why because the word and the spirit had showed up maybe some of you here are believing God or believing that some man or some woman will be your help that some person that you have placed your eye on will show up at some point in time and give you a change or give you a helping hand or lift you up or open a door for you but I came with the word of God in my mouth to let you know that his word and his spirit is able to do it and you are required to just stay in his presence and stay in his church and stay in his house he, King David 
Jesus said your presence and your house I will stay if I stay in your presence and your house I'll be envied he said I'll be happy he said I'll be fortunate is someone with me I'm in verse 4 he said I'll be happy I'll be fortunate many will envy me I prophesy this hour in the name of Jesus that is coming to pass in your life that someone under the sound of my voice the scripture said you'll be happy you've had many sorrowful days receive the happiness of Elohim you have had many sorrowful days many have overlooked you I declare tonight I declare this hour in the name of Jesus by the corporate anointing on this house by the anointing upon the bishop I declare over this house in the name of Jesus men are about to call you fortunate transformation prayer center is coming to pass that you shall be referred to as fortunate hey 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 I used to visit that church I used to visit them when they were less than 500 it was just a few months ago what happened look at these people they are in their thousands they must have been fortunate I used to be there in that place I saw how things began I saw how things went what happened someone shout I'm fortunate I saw you walk you used to walk with a limp come on Jacob next thing I see your name is changing and your whole thread line is changing what happened someone shout I'm fortunate you used to be referred to as barren but suddenly you decided to serve in the house of God and in his presence you decided that you will stay at home in your car at work but suddenly you came you showed up with a big belly some thought it was fibroid but you had to pause and correct them and you said I am fortunate because God has dealt well with me is there a hammer in this place you used to be barren they used to make a mockery out of you your own husband Elkanah said hey am I not good enough mm, but the Bible says it came to pass after she had an encounter with Eli after she had an encounter with the prophet Eli that everything changed within one year her story changed someone say I'm fortunate say within one year my story changes say it's not about to change it's already changing come on rise to your feet and turn around and say to yourself my story is changing I said it's changing I declare it's changing I declare it is changing I declare it is changing because you've proven yourself right you stayed in his presence you stayed in his house I declare it's changing shout it's changing it's changing Mr. Jones it's changing one is changing I see you I think of you come and it's changing I think of you I think of you Madam Norma is changing I think of you service after service morning service you are here evening service you are here when it's tough I see it on your face but yet you make it you have proven to the Lord that Lord not only do I desire your presence Lord I've proven that I'll forever stay in your house I'll forever stay in your house so he says it's changing it's changing it's changing it's changing it's changing it's changing I said it's changing it's changing it's changing it's changing it's changing I said it's changing I want to touch someone I said it's changing I said it's changing it's changing for you it's changing for you it's changing for you it's changing it's changing say 
is changing for my family. It's changing for my house. Says changing for my church. Says changing. Say I feel it changing. Say I feel it changing. Bishop, I realize, I realize that often we wait to see it, to believe it. But I know a man named Elijah. Elijah didn't see no rain coming. Elijah was only told by his servant, saying, I see something forming up like a hand over the sea in a cloud somewhere. And then Elijah said, that's enough. I don't need to see it to believe it. You don't even have to be a prophet to speak to me. You are only my servant. And you have seen something. The skies used to be clear. Until. Listen. I'd rather you tell me it's changing than not to hear anything. I need something to stand on when I go into prayer. I need to say, Lord, you said. Lord, you said. Bishop, there is a beautiful woman here. There's a woman here. I don't want to point her out. She came to the church. One, one time, we're having a new, she came to the church. Now, she's been, she had been following, me, following for a very long time. And, uh, you know, so she came to the church. One service, she sat at the back you know not because she wanted to but she came late close to the end of the service and according to her at the end we're all standing and I walked close to her and I said woman your marriage I see contention or something of that nature over your marriage I see a ring hanging over your head but there's contention and then I gave her how many days? 67 days. I said, no, 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 it was 60. Was it 67? How many days? 67 days. 67 days. And guys, sometimes, and this is no hit on anyone. There are times, Bishop, and Bishop, you know. <laughs> ah, Bishop. There are times we preach and we say things and you might think we are in your house or we are in your closet or we've been with you wherever you've been but not so there are times i stand here and i say stuff and i don't know what i've said some may come to me and say prof can you repeat the prophecy huh if it came from me i'll tell you what i see abc yeah are you with me so I went to her and I said whatever I said to her. But according to her, I gave her 67 days or 60, however many days. But at the time, she was single. Bishop, no one. Bishop, when you look at the woman at the time, right now, she's a member of the church and she doesn't easily get upset so I can talk about her like that. Uh, listen, when you look at the woman, oh, Bishop, she's a beautiful woman, but you could tell she was struggling single in fact she was so single she didn't even qualify for the last le she was single she was single. so she said every day she'll go home and pray said lord i believe what the man of god said i believe and then on the 64th was it 64th day on the 64th day bishop <laughs> someone she had never spoken to someone she she didn't know from adam they cross path one way or the other and within a few weeks months a few how long within four months they were married oh. Yeah. So if the 60, so you see, maybe it could have happened on the 67th day, but by reason of her prayers, like Daniel, she was able to pull it forward. 
many people are sick with their mouth closed many people have been delayed with their mouth closed many people have so much going on with their mouth closed and eventually they say you know what let me just take let me stay away from the presence of god or the church it is the enemy warning wanting to have you in your one little corner are you with me oh there are results there is a woman, there is a woman on the 28th i believe 28th of uh, august of last year she said i didn't she said bishop me she said she said prof she said i prophesied and prayed with her concerning her marriage prof i said prof, bishop on the no on the 30th of august on the 15th of september she met a man on the 28th of october she sent me pictures of a ring on her finger the man had proposed to her proposed yeah by the grace of god yeah by the grace of god they are going to a different country to go to their wedding and stuff so i was told they called in the course of the week or so asking which some special results they were giving me which prof which one does prof want are you jealous the presence of god the presence oh thank you thank you thank you there you go yeah let's put our hands together for media they are doing amazing they are helping me preach the message see listen engaged exactly as prophet prophesied on oh i uh, the 31st of august we give we give god all the glory thank you prophet for saying yes to god's calling lives have been transformed daily through your ministry love yeah is that it okay praise god <laughs> but that but that's a testimony hallelujah hallelujah say baka it's about to give me water in the name of jesus so he says king james and we can verse six so we can go home Oof. are you being blessed are you yeah you trusted in your work and it's good work more but that is not the solution you trusted in your connections <laughs> you trusted in people some even trusted in your own children. Ask my mom, she'll tell you. That time she wants me to do stuff. I'm like, no. No, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> we'll be in the kitchen. Said, use this ingredient, ma. No. I want to use my ingredient. Yeah. We we're, we're good everywhere else, but one part of the kitchen. Ask her, she'll tell you. We good. Oh, we good. We good. Everywhere, but one part of the kitchen she may trust that i'll listen to her on that uh. let's let's do the scripture verse six okay so now he's spoken about the blessed ones he's spoken about those who stay in the house of god those who stay in his presence then he says these people when they pass through the valley of baca right who passing through the valley of baca make it a well <laughs> the rain also filleth the pools now what is baka what is baka baka here represents a place of bitterness a place filled with challenges so often we can find it is a place of sorrow write it down it's a place of tears it is a place of hardship Baka. 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 so the bible says these people who stay in the house of god who serve in the church these people who stay in the presence of god not only are you going to be happy not only are you going to be fortunate you will be envied 
these people who do not trust in their own strength and might but trust in the strength of God you'll be happy you'll be fortunate you'll be called fortunate but you'll be envied not only so he says you go through a valley of the shadow of death Baka hallelujah you go through Baka but when you go through that backer, that must kill you. When you go through that backer, that must, my, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about that backer, that must cause you to drown and never make it to the top. When you go through the worst seasons of your life, be rest assured that you are coming back up, revived, blessed. You are coming back up, more anointed. Someone say, I'm coming back up say I'm coming back up say I'm coming back up yeah 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 yeah. listen now when I think of Baca I'm reminded of olive olive trees in those days and even now olive trees are often beaten alright so you read scriptures that says you know you do the first beating the first beating you can keep but after that leave it for the strangers and the slaves so when they come they can also beat and get some you understand so you beat it like literally yeah so the olives can fall and then you gather them hallelujah oh baba in De- let me let me prove it is that okay De- deuteronomy i'm like deuteronomy 24 20 it says when you beat the olives from your trees go to niv deuteronomy 24 verse 10 uh change change the version verse 20 yeah when you beat there you go deuteronomy 24 what let's read it when you someone has um, abandoned their post when you beat the olives from your trees do not go over the branches for a a second time leave what remains for the foreigner leave what remains for the fatherless so what does it mean to beat the olive trees all right (laughs) are you are you being blessed this morning so he says so you see I'm reminded of the beating of the tree in Baca we often feel beaten but you see it is not until you beat that tree that the olives actually fall and then after the olives fall then you crush the olives and you squeeze the olives some may even go through a refinery now it wouldn't be until you go through all of that that the oil begins to flow is someone with me so there is oil in Baca but there is a beating you must go through there is a well in Baca but there is a beating you must experience your beating might be people rising up against you my beating might be people disappointed my beating might be anything your be I've had, there are people who have had encountered losses human losses as part of their beating as part of their beating hallelujah but we are rest assured that if we stay in his presence and if we stay in his house baka will be a place of success the place where everyone complained and everyone said nothing good can come out of when you get to that place because you are a child of God in Baca you experience good wells that place where many thought that nothing good can come out when you get there because you are a child of God in Baca Baca must respond to your presence because you carry the presence of God you carry the fragrance of God is someone with me I pray that every Baca of your life every Baca 
that you encounter on this pilgrimage no backer in fact will push you away from his presence and away from his house some may encounter backer even in a church someone here may disappoint you people may talk about you but listen it might just be a backer experience you say to yourself I'm not going nowhere devil you can't get me out of my place of blessing devil you can't get me out of my place of favor I'm here to be fortunate I'm here to be favored I don't care who looks down on me you might look down on me when I'm on my knees and say bro what you doing with all of this singing you say I'm coming out of backer say I'm coming out of backer yeah. Yeah. people may mock you when you serve the Lord sweetheart serve him serve him people may mock they may mock you why are you always taking your family your children your everyone to church sweetheart I can't you just join online and I thank God for all of you online viewers we love you to the core but if you can make it in person why not hallelujah why not a lot of distractions are cut off your doorbell is not ringing right now are you with me no one is knocking on your door showing showing up unexpectedly double backer but i pray this day in the name of jesus remember these two things his presence and his house and it's anytime you find yourself going through things so and it be feel as though it is just so much listen i've 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 had my fair share and the truth is when i run to his house when i come to his house it is like something leaves me some burden just leaves hallelujah i don't know about you i'm just talking about myself hallelujah and it's like i get something new from him like something changes in my life and i feel like something is changing right now and i feel like someone something is changing in your heart right now something is being so there is a metamorphosis taking place right now you may have come in a caterpillar but you are going flying after your back I said after your backer season you are leaving back a flying they saw you going in there caterpillar crawling but you are coming out of back a soaring in the name of Jesus I said you may have gone through back a crawling but you are coming out of back a soaring my yeah 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 I prophesy you out of every financial backer I prophesy you out of every spiritual backer. I prophesy you out of every marital backer. In the name of Jesus, any demonic power that seeks to keep you down in backer, I pray this hour, may they lose their hold. In the name of Jesus, someone shall break. Let's rise up to our feet. Our time is up. Listen, before we pray, if the Lord was to call you home at the sound of the drum, if that was your call and you are not sure of your eternal home, I want to pray with you. Because all of this means nothing. The reason why you come out of Baka more blessed, more prosperous, more uh, highly lifted, and so on and so forth, is so that he would express himself in you, his glory in you. Hallelujah. So all of this means nothing if you're not sure if heaven will be your home if he called you. I want you to pr I want to pray with you here or online. In fact, let's say this prayer, say Lord Jesus. I call you Lord on this day say father 
thank you for receiving me back into your kingdom say Lord Jesus thank you for coming to die thank you for resurrecting on the last day on the third day that I may live thank you thank you Jesus thank you for the opportunity to be born again thank you say Lord Jesus I'm ready now to do your will I'm ready say I've heard this message I want to experience your presence I want to experience your power I want revival say Lord Jesus I want to stand your presence say help me Lord in the name of Jesus if that is your prayer begin to pray right now begin to talk to him and talk to him about any situation in your life talk to him about that sickness that disease ha ah, it may be your backer season but you will not die in Baca. as you speak to him your parents will not die in Baca. Yes. Deliver your people from Baka. Set your people free from Baka. Let your people experience success in Baka. Oh, Baba. I'm coming out of Baca. 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 I'm coming out of. 30 more seconds, pray. Coming out of Baca. I'm 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 coming out of Baca. I am free. I'm coming out of Baca. I'm coming out of Baca. I'm coming out of Baca. I am free. I am free. I am free. Free from sickness. Free from disease. Free from affliction. Ay, 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 ay. Free from bondage. Bondages be broken. In the name of Jesus. I'm coming out of Baca. I'm coming out of Baca. I'm coming out of Baca. I am free. Anything that is holding you down in Baca, I command it to lose its hold off of your life. Any form of bondage holding God's people, challenges beyond the strength of God's people. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now by your mercy let your people be liberated from this let the challenges of baka come to an end in the name of jesus the rest that your people have to go through we pray for the strength we pray for the zeal to go through it well and fight a good fight of faith i 
as a true soldier of the Lord and come out of battle blessed anointed favored fortunate happy in the name of Jesus transformation prayer center come out of Baca come out of Baca be favored be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed in the name of Jesus someone shout I am blessed oh I am free shout for your freedom coming out of Baca I'm coming out of Baca I'm coming out of Baca I am free Coming out of back I'm coming out of back Coming out of back I am free Coming out of back I'm coming out of back I'm free Coming out of back I'm coming out of Baca. Coming out of Baca. I am free. I am coming out of Baca. I'm coming out of Baca. I'm free. Some of you are not declaring it. Because you don't believe you are free. But as for me and my house, we come in out of back. We come in out of back. Come in out of back. We are free. We come in out of back. We come in out of back. We come in out of back. We are free. Coming out of Baca, coming out of Baca, coming out of Baca, I am free. I'm coming out of Baca, I'm coming out of Baca, I'm coming out of Baca. children are coming out of Baca. Your family is coming out of Baca. Hey, I am free. Coming out of Baca. Coming out of Baca. Coming out of Baca. I am free. valley of dry bones you all need to stop messing with my mic back huh? be a valley of dry bones a place where you add one plus one plus one and you expect a thousand but it comes up to three I mean you need a thousand but you only got three back back why is it so easy for everybody else this thing is simple you are doing the same thing everyone else is doing but you don't see that result maybe it is a backer hallelujah children of Israel in Egypt carried the promise of God on their head they were blessed these were the children of God sons and daughters of Abraham but yet they were in backer the Lord had prophesied that they'll be in captivity for 400 years at 
the end of the 400 year they were supposed to come out but they were not aware a new pharaoh was put in charge and the bible says that new pharaoh did not know joseph so he increased their labor their pain baka times two and then finally when moses showed up after so many days he brought the people out but when they were going the good news is that they did not go empty-handed Coming out of Baca. I'm coming out of Baca. I'm coming out. I am free. My hands are full. My head is anointed. My hands are full. My head's anointed. Yeah. I'm coming out of Baca. You coming out of Baca. In the name of Jesus. You coming out of Baca. I am free. Coming out of Baca. The Lord bring you out of any Baca of your life and of your destiny in the name of Jesus. The Lord snatch you out.
that that, that that season becomes a no. That be broken right now. Lift your hands. Spirit of the living God, come upon her. Cause it be broken. Help her with everything. As I Excited to be in the presence of God. How does it feel to be in the presence of God? All right. Um, listen. By the grace of God, tonight is going to be is going to be um, phenomenal. At 5:45, we we'll start praying and. Uh, how many of you enjoyed last week? Last week, 6 p.m. service. It was different. <laughs> Bishop, so, so we, um, we moved all the chairs and we came here standing and praying. Bishop, it was good. It was, but tonight, I'm not the one ministering. So who am I to say what the bishop will do? But our eyes have seen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bishop was just in Boston the other day and he was ministering. And was it someone in a wheelchair who had not walked for a long time or something? Hey, Bishop. Bishop is too dangerous. But if you look at the humility of the man, you'll be deceived. I said, there are strange men among us who walk in earthen vessels if you don't have the eyes to see you may overlook them or you might just give them regular honor the scripture says they are worth double honor but this one is beyond I call it innumerable honor let us let us uh, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna have Bishop just say a word or two to us and give us a time for tonight but before that let's go ahead and give our tithes and offering y'all look like y'all don't want to go home y'all more like lord i want your presence lord i want your presence i want your presence lord i want your presence i want your presence sure ma'am what's your name what's your name huh okay no you normally with um a younger and where is he he did really you are blessed hallelujah you love God don't you you love God you yeah you you do for real let me tell you as I look at you you have a very bright star from a very young age I see like a, a two, two and a half year old baby girl. And uh, you've been through, just going through a lot from that age going on, coming on up. But the star that I saw at two and a half, it's not the same that I see now. You understand? Yeah. There's been a battle over your future your destiny the enemy has been wanting to take you out for a, for a long time hallelujah you gonna be here tonight do you plan on it you don't plan on it wow 
there's nothing God cannot do. Okay? Yeah. It's good that you come in the church. You understand? It's good that you come in the church. They, are, they, 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 they cannot stand the presence and the power of God in this place. So they are willing to give your start back to you. Let me talk to you a few moments after church. Okay? So I don't want to hold everyone up. But this is your season to come out of Baka. You come out of Baka. You come out of Baka. Hallelujah. Yeah, you come out of Baka. You come out of Baka. Who is in Nigeria? I don't have to tell you guys. Your, your cousins. Where? Which part of Nigeria? Anambra. Bishop knows Anambra. <laughs> I'll talk to you after service. Okay. I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you after service. And uh, we'll pray briefly. Okay. Hallelujah. There is something that the Lord has for you. Something very good. Yeah. That the Lord has for you. The Lord will use you mightily. The Lord will use you mightily. Um, the lady you are looking at is very intelligent. Yeah, that's how God has made a very intelligent woman. But there's been a lot of challenges along the line. But things are about to change. In Jesus' name. Stretch for your hand to us. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we thank you that you are snatching her out of every baka season thank you she's coming out with a brighter star in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus we thank you lord that she's coming out with a brighter star in jesus name amen there is a flag i see you are like you know the people who win and leaders of groups they hold flags i see you holding a flag for your family as you hold their flag for him. but there are many evil eyes that that have been envying you from the age of two and a half as a result i'll talk to you i mean please let's lift up our ties our offering we are going to pray over it hallelujah and then we we'll receive bishop to close us in prayer lift it up your tithe is 10 percent of what you owe god or what God has given you, you owe him tips. He said, put me the test to see if I will not open the windows of heaven. I'm in Malachi 3.10. And open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing such that there will not be room enough to contain. That's what he says. And he's never lied or filled the person. Say, Heavenly Father, receive my worship in the name of jesus say heavenly father i thank you for blessing me thank you for blessing my family thank you for blessing my church thank you heavenly father please receive my offering if you are tired and tell him please receive my tithe and let increase locate me according to your word in Malachi 3.10 say you said you poured a blessing such that there will not be room enough for me to contain say I receive it now in the name of Jesus say I receive more blessing say you said you rebuke the devourer for my sake say thank you lord that the devourer is rebuked say you said if i serve you in the book of exodus you said if i serve you you take sickness away from me you take diseases away from me 
you said I will not be barren I take that literally Lord yeah it means my my finances will not be barren my business will not be barren I'll not be barren educationally I'll not be barren in skill acquisition I declare oh Lord by your word that barrenness is far from me father you said you bless my bread and bless my water I thank you that it is done in Jesus name amen as the ushers are serving you would you shout your loudest hallelujah to the Lord hallelujah praise the Lord let's serve the people of God by the special grace of God we have our prayer and worship experience on the 11th the 12th and the 13th it is going to be marvelous some of the songs we sang this morning were composed by MOG and he's coming here um, he's excited to be here with us I was talking to him earlier he said prof I'm coming home I'm coming home so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun now on the Friday we are going to say, share I've been spent a few hours here in worship and prayer hallelujah just a few hours just a few hours and it's gonna be good okay so Friday it uh, the 11th don't miss it at all praise God those of you given information to give us on your screen on Tuesday we have our empowerment service uh, however <laughs> uh, praise God hallelujah so it's gonna be really good uh, Tuesday empowerment service this week on Tuesday <laughs> praise the Lord and then Friday will be here um, it's gonna be good don't miss Friday at all Saturday don't miss it Sunday don't miss it hallelujah and more immediate tonight at 6 p.m. I'm not going to tell you anything more I'm going to invite Bishop Asari to just tell us what to expect tonight would you be honorable enough to put your hands together for the general who loves us just lift up your right hand to heaven and begin to thank him just just thank him anyhow just thank him just bless his holy name just thank him anyhow just open your mouth and see your life doesn't belong to you your life belong to him so the bible said glorify him in your body just lift up your voice and bless his holy name And also thank him for the life of his servant, the prophet. Just, just open your mouth and bless him for the life of his servant, the prophet. The prophet is always for your prophet. The prophet is always for your prophet. Stretch forth your hand on the servant of the Lord and ask God to anoint him double, give him double, anoint him the more. Just, just open your mouth and pray for him. The Lord will anoint him, will empower him, will invigorate him, will revitalize him, will revive him. Mizabo, Halsi, Picato, Libun, Degrada, Siata, Halus, Picala, Sipa, Haranda, Hani, Mikato, Zuatala, Bayede. Let oil drop upon his head like the rivers, like the rain from heaven, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let everyone be blessed. 
in Jesus name Amen put your hand together and take your seat just take your seat hallelujah how many of you here are a parent you have a child or you have children lift up your hand I want to see you you have a child or children I want to see you come, come up here just rise up and come here it doesn't matter how old your child come come for me it doesn't matter how old your child is I want you to come here I want to tell you something now and how many of you are married and you don't have a child yet is there anybody here like that you are married but you don't have a child yet you want God to give you a child is there anybody here like that all right now please listen carefully to me listen carefully by the grace of God this tomorrow I'll be out of here I'll be on my way to Africa but over the night as I kept on praying there is something that the Lord laid on my heart that I want to do this evening before I leave tomorrow make sure you have a paper here you have paper I want it a four sheet or whatever can you give me yeah thank you now make sure you take a paper like this now, where is your wife good you write your name first because you are the man yeah I'm showing you what you are going to do you write your name first then he will write her name and then down there you write the names of your children I don't know how many children you have but you write the name of your children okay now this evening we will bring it and lay it on the altar and pray for our children listen carefully to me there is something that is about to happen in this place in Dallas I don't know is it Metroplex Metroplex there is something that is about to happen somebody is about to pick a gun somebody is about to pick a gun and this thing is going to happen in the school I don't know whether school has reopened but the moment school reopens something is about to happen and I want us to pray for our kids I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying good so this evening when we come hold it in your hand 